Dear parents, I am Miss Rafida, the level steward for the secondary three level. My role is to take care of the holistic well-being of your children as they embark in their journey in the upper secondary level. In secondary three, your children will face many firsts. It will be a new environment with new classes, new faces and new subjects. They take some time to get used to it, all this. We can understand that some of this can be overwhelming for them. Hence, this is where we, parents and teachers, work hand in hand to support and guide them through their first. It may seemingly be more important to your children that they fit in well with their new classmates. It may not be easy, but having regular chats with your child may help them ease some anxiety or fears that they have in regards to social interactions with their friends. From these chats, we can empathize with our children's mental well-being from their perspective and understand what or why they could be doing certain things the way they do. Perhaps having some meals together at least once a day would help provide us with such opportunities for these chats. As parents and teachers, we can pick up signs of stress better if we learn to recognize our children's habits and behavior, both in and out of school. As the saying goes, at the heart of parenting is the parenting of the heart, with love as the foundation of every parent-child relationships. We know that each of us give and receive love in different ways, and there are times when messages, messages don't just seem to get through to our teens, simply because the language of our children are different from us, and our love language is not what they're attuned to. Recognizing our children's language would therefore enable us to build better bonds with them and help them flourish as they grow. One of the ways we can learn about this is to perhaps attend one of the many workshops available that are created for parents to encourage better understanding and gain practical tips on how we can communicate with our children better. In school, Teachers would also have regular conversations with your children whenever possible. During short regular check, doing short regular check-ins with our children would also help us keep them on task. We know that they don't like long conversations that sounds like lectures. So keeping it short and simple would help. Like we know how it can be tough for them to adjust to new subjects for now. So we can always encourage them to get help from their teachers when necessary. They also need to know that we are always there to help them clarify their doubts. In this day and age where the use of mobile devices have become a normal part of our everyday lives, more and more parents are also finding it difficult to connect with their digitally savvy kids and get them to manage their usage habits. It is time for us to also learn to embrace the culture of our digital natives, but at the same time, be equipped with skills to ensure that our children use their devices in a positive and responsible manner. Building habits of quality screen time, such as limiting their usage at home, may not be enough. It should be done with lots of communication and educating our children about safe space done reasonably so that it would help them understand what is responsible cyber use management. It would perhaps help too that we model positive screen habits together with our children, such as putting away our mobile devices during meal times and having short chats with them before bed away from the screen. Having said all that, I do look forward to building a good and strong relationship with your parents together with your child's form teacher and school personnel to ensure that your children's well-being is well taken care of, especially as we enter term two, where there'll be lots more of opportunities for growth. Thank you and God bless.